today I try to uh, hello my name is Dimas today I want to bring you quick pretty quick on how to define the variable in MATLAB and it's been a while that I didn't do it so I kind of forget and I would like to use this time to remember it so the first thing is I have data in Excel which is look like this there are GDP credit gap MPP in the year of 2020 and I want to bring it in MATLAB here which is in this uh, editor and I want to count the correlation between it so as you could see I tried to find all of them but I forgot and how to do that so I open the old file here but anyway it's not important for the old file but I want to do it one by one here so the first thing to do at the beginning it was actually define and clear everything and I will using the code of Excel with the first thing to do as you could see we need to clear it first uh, all the variable here and then make sure that you are in the uh, working directory which is here in dissertations as you could see it's in this part and there are like correlation and so on and the first thing now is let's do the xl as read evaluate and then you got this table here basically but this is not defined in which row and column what's the name of it so you need to define each of this column so next one we are going to here I define the GDP as the data from GDP 2020 that already display here one thing if the data is not display on the right column here it means you cannot calculate it because it's just not there yet so GDP GDP 2020 this is meaning like all rows that we want to take and the first column we take credit gap is GDP 2020 this and then uh, column 2 MPP all row here but column 3 and then how to calculate the correlations you calculate it from here GDP MPP here so let's see if it works yes it has to be a follow selection or F7 and then you could see that GDP rate gap and MPP all of them there already okay and then let's go back again to this and then I want to calculate the correlations uh, the function is core coef GDP and MPP and I want to calculate this and let's see what's the result and basically by clicking twice you could see the correlation between GDP and macro prudential policy is only two percent not pretty good let's see if we add the matrix into three by three by adding one more here gdp mpp and credit gap okay and see it's name it before it was r1 now let's name it as r2 and just you know not to lose the data that we have the beginning so let's run the R2 and see if it works or not with the three variable. Seems not because you cannot, I think you cannot run more than two correlations. Well, for now it's not, so I will just use the red credit cap and MPP and let's see what's the result at 2 whoa 23 so it means wait a second MPP macro prudential really able to control the vulnerability but not the resilient wow awesome let's write it here yeah credit gap with MPP 2020 it was 23% wow 0.23 amazing cool so that's all for now thank you very much it seems going well